Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, the uh, brand new reviewer. I'm just kind of walking. Um, I'm actually near my work. I thought I'd do a little bit of a video. Might as well shoot over here in the shade because it's actually keeping the exposure relatively good. So I will chill over here for a little bit. Now, I thought I'd make a little video kind of basically going over my thoughts. Um, food safety in supermarkets needs to be enhanced. Um, we're seeing an influx of stupid people thinking that they can walk into a grocery store, lick stuff, spit in things, stick their fingers and stuff. It needs to be enhanced. And my recommendation at this point then is to basically put more security in stores. Like a lot of grocery stores do not have much in the, law, in the way of loss prevention. I think that grocery stores will benefit from adding at least two additional security guards per eight hour shift. Uh, if the store is a 24-hour store and then a eight-hour shift per however long your store is open for particular departments um, it makes it a lot safer a lot more efficient and the security guards would walk mainly the entire floor um, taking up the left and the right side of the store mainly for groceries i don't think anything needs to be worried about in terms of uh let's say um Let's say like the clothing or anything like that or electronics because you can clean that stuff that's not a problem you can't clean food you can't clean ice cream and deli meat once the deli meat gets infected with something it's done it's fucked ice cream it's done it's fucked so i thought i'd come on here because i got a lot of good reception from the last video that i talked about i thought you know what why not make a video about food safety so at that point what i would honestly do is bring more security into buildings especially supermarkets i know walmart has a great loss prevention team so they're already going to be handling that um but these smaller independent stores like a giant shop right um an oldie even oldie there's barely anybody on the floor so need to enhance that security because if this is going to continue and you're going to see more and more of these stupid videos and challenges coming up you need to get that stuff looked into so that's my thoughts um i'm gonna make it short because i got work soon so i will catch you all later it's absolutely disgusting what people are doing you got the mouthwash one i think the one with the guy spitting into the tea is not a genuine clip so do not witch hunt at all for that particular person because i don't think they did anything wrong i looked it up it's actually part of a um wrestling segment so I believe from my records that they, they purchased the tea prior and then they took it and did whatever they had to do. So anyway, I'll see you all later. I'm going to try and keep up on this channel a little bit more. So I will catch you all in the next one.